Good afternoon and welcome to No Moon's View Guide. Today I'm going to make another curry. Um, in the pan here I have just regular minced meat and some sausages cut up. That's all I've got. Uh, I'm just going to brown that off because I, um, I need those to be cooked. What you heard is the kettle just boiling ready for my curry sauce. So I'll just leave that to cook. Um, I want it to go nice and brown. Just giving it a, a quick whiz to break it up. Now you may have noticed if you've been following the channel um, that I made a curry before but I made a vegetable curry. Um, today I am going to make I'm going to put vegetables in this curry. Um, I've got them over here. I'm not going to show you um, me actually cutting the vegetables. Everybody knows I've cut vegetables. Just make sure that you've got your chopping board and you've got your, um, your trusty knife. <coughs> it's a beautiful day today. The sun's out, it's lovely and warm. There's a little slight breeze in the air and that's about it. It's, you know, it's a really nice summer's day. Anyway, top and tail of carrots. Now, you know me, I don't peel my carrots. I don't see the point in peeling a carrot. The skin is just as good as the inside, but with more vitamins. And um, I want to just uh, top and tail them. There are one or two little bits I want to take off here. These um, these are extremely fresh carrots. I bought them the other day. They're local grown. They're local bean to Lancashire, UK. And I'm just going to um, I'm just going to basically slice them up. That's what I said, there's no point in um, me showing you how to do carrots because yeah, everybody knows how to do carrots. I'm sure you do. And I'm just going to throw these in the pan. They, they're not, they're not um, sliced circles, they're done in slices. And I don't do them like this because they're bigger pieces. I do them like this because they retain the flavour. I don't know if you know this, not many people do know this. <clears throat> when you slice a carrot and you slice it a ring way, you know, when you go across the way with it like that, it loses its flavour. So if you slice them long ways, it retains its flavour and this is you know this is what I'm aiming for nobody likes a flavourless carrot let's face it and these carrots that you buy in tins in the shops well at least said about them the better um, yeah but they're just in normal water and before you even open that tin that carrot has lost its flavour Completely. It doesn't even think it's a carrot anymore. Okay, on with this. I've done that. Now I'm doing an onion. No, I am not going to cry. Onions don't really affect me so much. Uh, the one I'm using is an English onion. Again, it's bought purely for flavour. And with this, I'm going to ring it, and then I'm going to I'm going to quarter it. Now 
This is now basically demolished. I'll show you in a second. It's a bit stronger than double onion, this one, I will admit. It's not making me cry. Not at all. No, be honest, I've got... My eyes are stinging a little bit, but it's... You know, it's a really strong onion, this one. And I'm just going to throw that in there with the carrots. Lots of people put potatoes in, in curry. Um, I do because we enjoy them. That meat's browning nicely now. I add the kettle on so I can make the sauce. But I don't need it absolutely roasting hot. You watch my meat for me while I get on with peeling these spuds. I've not done a lot just lately, I've been rather busy. It's uh, summer's here and you know, you get busy in the garden, don't you? As you do. The last time you heard from me, it was, uh, it was just about Easter, I think. And since then, like I say, I've been really busy. I've cut the grass a few times. I've, um, I've planted potatoes out in the back of my own garden. And I've built a bird feeder. But nothing really cookery wise. You know, I've been busy doing everything else. I've been out and about, well, I have been out and about. It's not been the greatest of weather all the time. But you know, it has been nice. It's just still a bit cold. Beautiful today though. Mm. Well, I can really smell that meat now. Um, I was planning on doing something completely different um, today, well, the other day, for today. But one or two things didn't go quite to plan. I couldn't get what I wanted. So, uh, that's gone. Oh my goodness, that's not a little paper. That one's gone straight in the bin. I don't do horrible potatoes, they're not nice. Um, I did get some beautiful baking potatoes the other day and I got five on purpose because there's three of us. I got two to make um, my homemade chips with, which you've probably seen the video. And we had them last night, oh they were delicious, with a steak and kidney pudding. For you people across the water, um, a steak and kidney pudding is basically a suet pastry with steak inside. Um, over here in the UK, we put kidney in ours. You know, you probably you probably don't eat kidney, but nevertheless, you know, steak and kidney makes the whole meal. And um, we had that with some homemade chips, it was absolutely gorgeous. 
Right, put your into the knife. The rinse my potatoes off. Now, here's my potatoes. These are only small. I've got these small on purpose. Um, I'm not going to dice them where I am. I'm just going to quarter them because, like I said, they're not very big. So I've got, you know, I've only got, I've got about seven potatoes, but they're all very small. And I chose these on purpose uh, for this particular day. I just want to um, turn and bake some of Now look at that, look at that. It's just like a steak in it, eh? Now I want to mince, I want the mince and the sausages to mix together. I'm not, but I don't want the sausages fully cooked because these will continue to cook um, in the curry because when they get in the curry they're going to break down and that's the whole idea of putting them in there. So I'm going to carry on leaving that to fry up some more. It's, um, it's looking good. So it's looking really nice now this. Right, I'll leave that like that to cook like that while I finish off these potatoes. Now um, I managed to get, I don't know if you remember this, if you've watched my previous videos, um, I couldn't get any of that curry powder. The one I really, really liked, the chip shop one. And the other day, I was walking through Home Bargains, and I had it back in stock. So, I grabbed the box, I'm going to grab some more tomorrow. Um, they had about 200 boxes when I was when I went in the other day. So I'm going to grab some more tomorrow. And I'll show you in a few seconds. Bear with me. This is not an orange curry powder. It's not a hot one at all. It's a very mild one. And it's bright yellow because it has extra turmeric in it. Um, I don't know if you know, but turmeric is good for you. So I've got that. Now, here's that curry sauce. This is the curry powder that I bought. It's really nice, very tasty, and it's got a sweet flavour to it. And then um, I'm going to make it up. These are done now. That can go off. And this lot can just go straight in here. Like so. Um, oil as well. I think I should have used a stock pot, what do you reckon? Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, I do need my large jug. Uh, I'll make this here so you can see it. Where's my big spoon? Here it is. Now, as I said, this curry powder is not hot at all. It's really nice. I'm going to take two dessert spoons. That is it. And put it in there like that. Then, I'll just put the lid on this, and I'll put it away. Just take your hot water, and fill your